Let's go much today. We are back in Star Citizen. Though we today we are in the PTU instead of the standard um, client, because something very interesting came out of the public test universe today. Uh, I'll show you once we jump into our little sim pod. So the PTU, if you don't know, is the public test universe where before patches come out they put them up to test them so if this lags or any wig glitches that's why but this is why the basic training flight simulator whatever you want to call it uh, so we've got takeoff, basic maneuvers, all of this uh, we want takeoff there we go and yeah so just wait for this to load up On over. Oh wow, this looks pretty cool. Uh, so we've just loaded in literally, just and yeah, already, already. Um, are you gonna move? I'm waiting, Brooke. Yeah, already I'm not gonna look at it. Oh, it's out there. Graduate. Pretty cool. Okay. On me, let's go. Oh, bit of a lag. Let's talk to this I'm guy. Lucas Baramsko, but everyone knows me as Gilly. I've served in six squadrons and qualified on almost a dozen ships. So if you put in the time, I'll get you on the path to dogfighting with the best of them. That glad you set you up in a ship on the landing pad over there. Yeah. Like over the over. In, the, in the background over there. Um, so you're going to that one. Move it, move it. Oh, ah. thank you for telling me controls are doing it. Um, yeah, I guess I go to this one. My guy just says, pretty much this my favourite single fight one. Is this the asteroid hangar? I feel like it is. Come on. Up F. Come on. Oh. If that's not glitch, I don't know what it is. <laughs> the ladder didn't come out properly. Oh well. Okay. Where's he? Is he. Yeah, he's over there. We've got two gladiators and two gladiuses. First things first. Take a look around your cockpit, cool. and have familiarize yourself with the layout. It's imperative yeah, to find works. and access specific controls. Last thing you want to be doing in a scrap is bringing up the instructions. You'll notice the majority of your systems are disabled. I'll be controlling when they're on and offline to simulate potential scenarios and combat situations. Let's get ready for takeoff. I'll do this step by step to show you how it's done. Systems, check. Engines check. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing any of this. I might have to do the permission bit though. Copy that tower. All right, this is this uh, this AI. I am just, just saying. It's already blown my mind for a game that's so early in development. Now well, clear, I can eh, it's not really early, but you know what I mean. There's no not not any real solid gameplay now at the moment. Ready for a vertical takeoff. Why can't we just use the doors Once over there? Aligned, the tower will open the door. Not saying that this isn't cool at all, but yeah, we could just fly straight out of that door. I wonder how far they're going to implement this in the actual game. Like when you first get it, is this the first thing that you're going to do? Is just do this again, or is this literally just for alpha? That's it. Once I clear out, it'll be your turn. Let's just go back to control tab. And straight face straight ahead. Ready? I'm enabling your systems. We'll okay, here we go. Take off, thank you. Uh, yep, okay, thank you very much. So, cleared for launch, thank you. Yes, I know to strafe. So we get R. Nice. Ooh. Clear of the path. That's okay. Now straight forward onto the taxiway. If 
I'm lined up. It says I'm perfectly lined up. Open the doors. Hello. I'm lined up. Aren't I? I'm lined up. Hello. I must be lined up. I'm not too far forward. Uh, shift S. Come on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> A little bit off. And doors open. Doors open. Oh yeah, they're open. I need to pay more attention to what's actually happening. Stop here. Just keep going. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I've, that's what I've been doing this whole time. Thank you. Great job. I haven't seen many pull one off on the first try. Oh. I've just enabled your targeting system. Use it to target me. It's why, isn't it? Yeah. Why? Good. Hello. Wait for that speed, um, yeah, thank you. That sounds like an explosion. Great. You're locked on. I'm guessing I'm still at the sphere because this is an autopilot. Do, do, do. Oh, this is Dying Star. So I take it that is the hangar that directly Remember, behind me. This is an autopilot, so you still have That's exactly what I just said. You'll notice that once you're locked, your computer will continue to monitor my speed and adjust. It doesn't matter if I speed up slowly. There's the space or spire, or whatever. I'm not really listening to what he's saying. Oh, go on down. That, my friend, is the spire. Isn't she a beauty? Yeah, space spire. I guess it's something to do with jumping. Moving on. That's now what the normal is. My favorite part of training: the barrel, barrel roll. roll. Shh. <laughs> okay, this is just basics. So much fun. Rolling so. is a great way to orient your ship to fit through tight gaps or evading coming fire. Now you give it a go. Okay. Yes, don't need to tell me how to do a uh, simple barrel roll. Yeah. Tell me I can stop. I stop yet? Hello? I've done one. You're not registering yet? Okay. I guess I'll keep doing it too much. Nice <laughs> well, you seem to be able to handle your ship. Okay, so that bit was a bit buggy. Oh, come back. Don't you tell me about foot all, I know. You check your radar. You should have a contact. Don't T. worry. It's just a training uh, drill. T. It handles just like the real thing, but its weapons are less than lethal. Saying that, they still pack a punch, so try not to take any hits if you don't have to. I will try not to. If this is lagging slightly, I am sorry, there's not a lot I could do. Oh, was I still not on to? I thought it was some free flight. Use right. your targeting system to quickly target the closest enemy. Yes, yes, C, thank you. Okay, T or C. Okay, now look at the top right yeah. of your hut. You yep. should see the target displayed. This will show real time damage, shield status, and a few other things. Shields are drawn as panels floating around the ship. They'll shrink as they weaken until they disappear. Right, find a scorpion. At that point, your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. Okay. Now your weapons are online. Line up your target and fire when you're ready. Thank you. Uh, let's just. Good shot. See its shields weakening on your hut? Yeah, it didn't like that. Ooh. What are you waiting for? Go finish it off. Now you have a target. You'll have extra aim reticules. Those are predicted impact points or pips. They'll show you where to shoot to hit a moving target. Notice you have multiple pips with varying lag. Each of those indicates a weapon on your ship. The is there a time to kill this because I'm not exactly quickly. 
Oh, just hit air. Stop interrupting me. Am I taking hits? I might take a hit now, but... I am, but try to stop my weapon overheating and actually aim. Ooh, that's a bit of a lag. Well, that's sort of the shield animation where pretty much all of its shields are down. Come on. I am. Stop telling me stuff I already know. Really? Oh, I almost wasted that whole mag on you. Oh, that's why it wasn't letting me kill it. I can't shoot me. Okay. That was a bit of impression I didn't actually know. And it's not, it's too close. If I fire it now, it'll blow me off as well. Anyway. So, keep my nose towards it. Did I kill it? Oh, did kill it. Did it shield it? Yes, I'm on you. Hello. On me, let's go. Yes, I'm on you. What do you want me to do? I'm on you. I'm here. Hello. Alright, follow me. Let's move on. Uh oh. Looks like he had a friend. Take a look and